Hello everybody, I'm Arden. We're here to talk about advanced generators again today. And we're going to talk about a feature that I honestly haven't seen a whole lot of people use in the past, but it is available in this pack. And by that, I mean the steam turbine for advanced generators. And this is honestly built almost exactly the same as the normal advanced generator, except you use the steam turbine controller. And it takes a liquid intake valve because you need to put liquid steam into this. And I need to be clear, this will be important if you use mechanism, this needs to be liquid steam and not gaseous steam. You're going to want a flux generator to take power out of it, some capacitors to store power, and then a whole bunch of turbines. And it can take up to 50 of them, just like the turbine controller says. And these use the same turbines of the normal generator, which means they have the same statistics. And they do increase up in values and they can be upgraded in place with the upgrade kits. Once you've got your generator set up with however many turbines and other pieces that you want to add on to it personally, well, you need a source of gas. In this case, we're going to use the creative tank with liquid steam from mechanism. And we're just going to attach mechanical pipe to it to get it out and feed it into the turbine. And if we come in here, you can see that they do have a ramp up time to get fully up into production, but they produce with the composite turbine, which there can be higher level ones, depending on your mod pack, 1000 RF per turbine, which means they can get up to 50,000 or more depending on what you have available in the pack you're playing. So, so far all easy and you can get steam from a host of other different mods as long as it's compatible with whatever the generator here is expecting. Like say you're making a fusion reactor in mechanism and you wanna dump all the steam out of it into a turbine and not use the mechanism one for whatever reason. Well, you could dump it into this one. Or, you know, if you're playing an older mod, something that has rail craft, you could get steam from the boilers there as well. Or who knows, any number of other sources of steam might work for this. Now, let's say that maybe you don't have mechanism or some other version of steam that you can do with this and you still want to use something like this well good news there is a way to make steam in this pack and that's with the heat exchanger which is another multi-block structure and as you can see the list of parts here is about the same as every other one in this pack which means it's pretty easy to set up so what you're going to need is the heat exchanger controller as well as at minimum one fluid intake but in most cases we're going to need two up to 50 heat exchangers and then a fluid output valve to get the steam out once you've created it it looks just like all of the other interfaces from this pack, although this part might be a little bit confusing. This is the input fluid. In most cases, this is going to be water. To heat this into steam, however, we also have to input lava. You know, something like that. Once we come back in here, you can see that it is starting to heat up and that it converts the lava into obsidian, which means you're also going to want an item output hatch to remove the obsidian, because if this fills up, well, you're done. But this is now outputting the steam and we can now output it directly into the steam turbine and watch that kick off again. And for completeness, I guess let's put an item output hatch right there. And we can put a chest in here, which will then dump all the obsidian into. And this thankfully doesn't require a pipe of any sort to do direct transfer into an inventory. Now, I should note that there is one other super, super, super useful thing for this if you are playing with Industrial Craft 2. Because one of the other things that this can take is hot IC2 coolant for its nuclear reactors. And it can just take and straight process that into the cooled version of the coolant as long as you have enough heat exchangers to cool it back down fast enough. And then that will let you reprocess it and send it right back into your nuclear reactors. Unfortunately, I don't have Industrial Craft installed in here, so I can't actually show you that version of it. But trust me, that one is also probably one of the better uses for this although I also haven't seen people doing that one either, but it's available if you want to do it. Anyway, I hope you found this video at least interesting or entertaining. As always, I'm Ard. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.